Hey guys, this is Jason with Vape Fu Young coming at you live from China. Today we're going to talk about temperature control, setting it up for use in your SX Mini G Class. Stick around. Alright, so temperature control, what is it? It basically is a uh, is a way that you're going to control the temperature that your coil reaches um, and it's going to maintain that temperature consistently throughout your vape whether it's a few seconds whether it's five seconds whatever so with uh, with temperature control you're going to get a more consistent more smooth vape and you're also going to be able to fine-tune your vape um, maybe to more uh, uh, complement the juice that you're that you're vaping you know juices have different VGPG mixtures so many different things that go into them some are more sugary sweet different things and you're gonna find that uh, different temperatures are going to complement those juices better they're gonna taste better uh, so anyways temperature control it's uh, it's something that, that I've had the SX mini G class for about six months and uh, never set it up for temperature control and as I was reading more and more about the, the G class, more and more, so many people were saying, hey, look, if you're not using temperature control, you're wasting it. You know, you're just using it as a mod, just, uh, you know, vaping away in wattage. It really shines in temperature control. So I decided I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out, figure out how to set it up. Didn't see a lot of information on YouTube about setting up your, your G class for temperature control. So I decided uh, I'm going to figure it out. And once I did, make a video so um, with temperature control there's certain wires that you're going to want to use some wires will not work in temperature control uh, NI80 the nichrome will not work uh, Canthal will not work apparently the characteristics temperature control uh, is is you uh, is accomplished by by measuring the changes in the characteristics of the wire as it heats up to different temperatures and uh, different wattages or joules or whatever and uh and those wires um don't have enough change um currently for temperature control to work wires like uh nickel titanium stainless steel these do the, the characteristic changes in them as they heat up are consistent can be measured and can be used to then uh figure out exactly what temperatures you know you're you're vaping at where you want to keep it so um so i've got stainless steel in here i've got a six uh spaced coil six wrap spaced coil stainless steel 316 l uh 26 gauge it is um showing 0. 0.46 ohms and uh um Let's go ahead and take a look at the close-up. Okay, guys, you can see here I've got the uh, the G-Class, got the um, Musketeer by Blitz mod on it, got it all juiced up, wicked up, ready to go. Just pop the cap on here on the Musketeer RDA. So, bringing up the screen, you notice on the screen on the upper right-hand corner it says 35 joules upper center uh, 0.45 ohms 3.96 volts 230 degrees Celsius on the screen sorry about that and uh, it's showing SS 316 uh, as the um, as the wire I'm using taste mode set to powerful let's go into uh, bring it back up bring it uh, let's go into the menu and show you how you want to set how you would set this up for your usage. Five clicks, we're into the menu screen. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is go down and select coil. Now in this case I'm using stainless steel 316L. You want to select your uh, select your coil whether it's titanium, um, nickel, whatever, uh, or you can go down and do the manual TCR and set that if, you, if you'd like. But I'm setting mine is I'm using the stainless steel 316L. All right. The next thing that you're going to want to do, and you can of course adjust the units, which would adjust the the Celsius or the Fahrenheit. 
I'm used to using the Celsius now, even though uh, Celsius meant nothing to me and most means nothing to me in most other situations. But you know, living abroad has given me some uh, idea of Celsius. But I use the Celsius because I know where the Celsius is. Adjust temp. You can do it here. You can do it on the main screen. 230 degrees Celsius is about where I like it. If we adjust the unit to Fahrenheit, adjust temp. 230 degrees Celsius is 446 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. But we're going to leave it on Celsius. Okay. Oops. Now, jumping back out to the main menu. In order to use the temperature control, you're going to want to vape not in the uh, the wattage mode, which you can vape with the stainless steel, but in order to take advantage of the temperature control, you're going to want to go into the joules mode. Now, when I first was setting this up, what I didn't realize is, you know, you need to have the joules um, set up. You need to set the joules at the level that you are going to be comfortable with. The joules basically is going to provide the power um, to... Uh, you know, to, to vape, sort of um, uh, how much power you're going to need or you want um, to be able to, to vape. But the temperature control is going to prevent it from going any hotter. And that's where you get this nice, even, consistent vape. Um, so you can set the jewels really low and have, have, a, have a weak, um, sort of a weak hit and uh, and set the temperature control at a certain level and it won't go over that level it'll stay around that level once it reaches that level but if you set the jewels um let's see if you set the jewels down at you know 15 or 10 or you know 10 is the least you can go it's going to take a while to reach that level okay if you kick it up high it's going to get there quick it's going to get there much faster Whoa, obviously we don't want that high. Anyways, if you set it up higher, it's going to get there much faster. But the temperature control is going to keep it at that consistent temperature. So that's that's what I was having trouble getting at first. I thought just set the temperature and go. But I was getting, you know, vastly different experiences depending on where the jewels were set and where I would set the wattage it had no effect on it at all. And that's why you see in this case, the water just set at five. I just set it down. It doesn't matter where it's set at. If you set it 200, it's not going to affect you when you're in temperature control. So, um, so as you are, as you're setting this up, you want to set your jewels somewhere that you're comfortable, you know, maybe start it 25, 20, whatever, work your way up from there. Okay. Then you're going to want to set your temperature. You know, you can go anywhere between 100 to 300 degrees Celsius. You know, start at 100. Start at 120 or something and, and just kind of find that sweet spot for yourself. Because I tell you what, I am a complete convert now when it comes to the temperature control. I love it. Um, I didn't understand it for a long time, but now that I, I'm getting the hang of it and I've had a chance to play with it, and, and make some adjustments, it's really it's really a nice way to go. So if your mod allows it, or you want to go out and spend the money to get one that can give you temperature control, I highly suggest you spend a little time and figure it out, because it's definitely going to be worth your effort, in my estimation, and, and the estimation of a lot of other people, because there's a lot of people that are vaping in temperature control. I just never did it. I was happy in wattage mode. That was my thing, but... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I've, 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 I've seen the light. So, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Um, but that's basically it. In the, uh, in the G class, you know, you're, I'm pushing this joystick button to cycle between these. If you have a G class, you'll be familiar with that. And then when it's in the red, you know, you can make the adjustment. When you get the adjustment like you want, you hit the fire button or, uh, well, the fire button will, will, will set that adjustment and then allow you to go into regular usage mode. If I keep hitting the red button, it's just going to cycle between 
the wattage, the joules, the temperature, and uh, the um, uh, type of coil, type of wire down here. So, there you go. All right, welcome back. So, a couple of things I forgot to mention in the close-up. Um, one thing is you want to set the um, you want to set the coil resistance in your SX Mini G class um, when you're doing the temperature control. Really, you want to do it all the time, anytime. And you probably already know how to do that. But if you don't, um, basically what you want to do is the little joystick here. You want to hold that in for about five seconds. And then this is going to pop up on the screen. It's going to show you what the resistance it measures. Um, and you can, you can then uh, reset the resistance. So it's at 0.45. That resistance could possibly change based on, uh, based on the conditions that you're using it in, the temperature, uh, the ambient temperature in the room or outside or what have you. So, so um, feel free, reset that at any time because that'll be more useful and helpful and when it's doing its calculations to figure out uh, to keep that temperature most accurate, okay? Um, another thing I forgot to mention, uh, it does have a compensate temp. So if you click five times, get into the menu and go down to the second page, go down to the second page and the menu, you're going to see compensate temperature. And uh, that's another way that you can, you can set what the ambient temperature is basically on your estimation or by looking at a thermometer or whatever. And that will also help to, uh, to give you the most consistent uh, and accurate vape with the, uh, with the G class. I gotta tell you, man, I've really, uh, I've seen the light, man. Temperature control for me right now, maybe I'm just like, you know, new to it, so I'm all excited, but it is the way to go. Um, it's amazing uh, how much smoother and consistent and 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 when you figure out the temperatures especially for your favorite juices i'm using uh i'm vaping uh the coastal clouds uh the journey okay no it's called the voyage coastal clouds the voyage is my favorite juice i love this juice and i've been on it for a few months now and i know it's not a new juice but um it oh <laughs> oh it is so good. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. I'm not even going to talk about it. It's like a Rice Krispie treat. It's a little sweet, but not overly sweet. And really, I find that it can be an all-day vape, which a lot of the really sweet juices aren't really an all-day vape for me. The reason I had Journey in my mind is because of my other uh, juice that I really love, which is the Lazarus Vintage Journey, which I just finished off a, uh, a bottle of the the special barrel version, which I've peeled the sticker off because I stuck it on something else. Yeah, I'm like in high school. But um, but this Lazarus Vintage is also a really great, uh, really great juice for vaping. So like, for instance, uh, uh, when I vape the Coastal Clouds with temperature control, I found that I like about 250 degrees uh, seems to give me the most flavor, uh, or I just prefer it. That's the most flavorful for me. Um, but the, uh, the Lazarus Vintage, so the, let me get this right, yeah, so the Voyage, pow, pow the Voyage I like vaping at about 250 degrees uh, Celsius, and the Lazarus Vintage um, seems like the flavor is better at about 220, you know, a little bit lower, so, um, so that's like one of the advantages of, uh, of, um, uh, of the temperature control, you know, you're setting that temperature to bring out the flavors in your juices. What else? Uh, if I didn't mention before, I don't know. I've redid this about three times now. <laughs> uh, is the burning your coil, dry hits, a thing of the past. You won't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, you will not burn your coil. You will not uh, have to worry about your dry hits when you are using uh, temperature control. It senses that there's no juice, basically, because of the resistance. What, what, what? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but um, but it does work, you know. So, um, anyways, you gotta set your joules where you want them. You gotta set your uh, your temperature where you want it. Play with it. 
figure it out. You know, I was so frustrated because I was setting my wattage and then, you know, like what, you know, but I'm an idiot, you know, it shows you right on the screen when you're in joules mode in the upper right hand corner, it's going to show you what temperature you set in your temperature control. But when you're in wattage mode, it doesn't do that. When you're in wattage mode, it's not showing you that. So I should have figured that out much sooner than, than I did. So, uh, but anyways, guys, temperature control, if you haven't tried it, it's definitely give it a try and play with it. Don't get frustrated like I did. Play around with it, figure out exactly what you like for your different juices or the juice that you like best, whatever. Enjoy no more dry hits and, uh, and that consistent vape. You know, it just, it goes all day. You know, you can, you can draw and draw and draw and draw. And how much lung capacity do you have? Because it basically, it's got it for you. It's going to keep it at, at, at that temperature. And when I hit it, it shows it right there. It's hovering right around 250 degrees, 254, 253, 250. But um, no dry hit and the flavor, you know, like I said, this coastal clouds, I've been vaping this from for months now, uh, nearly every day, every day, every day, pretty much. Um, but temperature control really brought out the flavor to me and it just made it even better. So do yourself a favor. If you're not using temperature control, figure it out. I hope this video helps you with the, uh, with the G class. With the ML class, it's basically the same. You want to set your jewels. You, you know, instead of being in power mode, you want to be in the jewels mode. Um, now it's not going to have the um, uh, the uh, 316L uh, stainless steel wire in the presets, but you have the TCR, which is like the temperature coefficient resistance. So whatever wire that you're using, uh, if it's not set in there, you can use the TCR and set that number. You can go on the internet, you know, so like for this, I just haven't set it 316L, SS 316L. Uh, but with the, uh, with the ML, um, uh, it didn't have that in there. So I went on the internet, looked, found the TCR, which for this is about 0.92. There's a bit of a range. Some people were saying it works better, uh, but it was all around that number. So I've set it at 0.92 and it's been great in the temperature uh, control mode as well. So um, anyways, this is Jason with Babe Fu Young signing out. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. We're gonna have some more giveaways in, in the uh, in the future. You know, we still haven't given away that uh, that cool vapor Arthur mod that everyone was going so crazy about. Oh, it's so beautiful. We've got one to give away. Check it out on our other channel. How to uh, how to uh, on our other channel, our other video uh, on how to win that, and because we want to get rid of it. Thanks, guys. Peace.